r slash ask reddit mike bloomberg has dropped out after spending nearly 600 million dollars what would you do with 600 million dollars to make the world a better place pave some roads in my hometown for 600 million dollars what you paving them in gold they're using strong enough materials to keep the roads around of course super roads only the best roads ever made i wouldn't change a thing I'd buy 53 delegates in one of the most humiliating presidential campaigns ever conceived of. I would buy Tulsi Gabbard's single delegate. I really hope she stays in just to force her one delegate to cast a vote for her in the convention. I really hope that delegate votes present. Well I currently live in Nashville, and after the tornadoes that hit earlier this week I imagine that could be put to good use around here. Edit. Thanks to everyone checking in. Yes. My family and I are okay. Cocaine and hookers. Hookers have student loans too. I was summoned. Congrats on your 600 million dollars. There. At ease. I watched in wonder. Skimpy wardrobe strewn asunder. Tempted by her perky plunder. Posed to rise. Repeat. Quite content to sit there. Glancing. Watching sexy ladies dancing. When it was a shape advancing made our wayward meet. So it was I paid discreetly. Spent to save a pleasure sweetly. Compensated loans completely. Dut. Hookers gotta eat. Set up a sanitation companies in South Asian countries that don't have well developed trash disposal systems. In order to intercept garbage before it reaches the sea. Edit. Addendum. So after doing a little research according to analysis by Columbia University 66 million dollars would be what you would need for seed money to install a plasma gasification waste management system. First, SCS used a widely accepted unit cost of $220,000 per ton of capacity for a conventional mass burn WTE plant and extrapolated an estimate of capital costs for the plant based on a 300 TPD initial plant processing capacity. This results in a base capital cost of $66 million. Table 3. And who knows with economy of scale you might be able to get that number down. Peter Gibbons. Good point. How are you going to do 1200 chicks at the same time? Easy. Just have 1200 dongs at the same time too. Chernobyl employees. I'm listening. Ask our slash Wall Street bits and do what got the most upvotes. YOLO. That awkward moment when the top comment tells you to invest all 600 million dollars into Bloomberg's deactivated campaign. Everyone knows you inverse the plays. Boom instant tendies. Turn that 600 million dollars into 50 dollars in no time at all. Quickest 50 dollars I ever made. Put it I to social care. My mother worked with special ed kids in high schools and one day a guy came up to her on a Friday and said he's too scared to go home. My mom started asking him about it and found out his stepdad regularly beats him. My mom immediately called social workers and they told her that since it's the end of the workday they won't do anything till Monday. My mom said that by Monday the guy will already have been beating the game. And the social workers said it's not their problem. My mom then asked if she has his permission since he was over 18 if she could take him home. And found out that even though he's 18 and gives his permission, she will go to jail for kidnapping him. So the boy was forced to go home with his abusive stepdad. Edit. Since so many, including myself, have asked. The reason that my mom could not take him home was because his mother and stepdad were his legal guardians and they needed to give consent. Someone informed me of this in the comments so thank you. All too ducking common. Those that mean well are hamstrung while those that mean ill are enabled. Remake season 8 of Game of Thrones. The hero we deserve. It was 10 million per episode if I recall correctly. That means you got 60 episodes worth. 50 with inflation. That means 5 full seasons. Remake it starting with season 5. That's when it really started going to shit. But may god have mercy on your soul if you don't keep Tyene Sand and her glorious tits in it. Buy every man, woman and child in the United States two large sodas just to rub it in Bloomberg's stupid face. Oh. Except Bloomberg. He doesn't get a soda. He just has to watch everyone else enjoy theirs. I think if Bloomberg bought every man woman and child two large sodas to advertise his presidency it would have been more effective than what he did. Run in the 2024 election cycle. Campaign to stop people like Bloomberg from running. 
You have become the very thing you swore to destroy. Don't lecture me, Obi-Wan. I see through the lies of Mike Bloomberg. I've heard conflicting reports of how much it would cost to address the problems with Flint, Michigan's drinking water, but whatever the actual number is I imagine that $100 million or so should cover it, so I'd do that, then I wouldn't feel so bad about spending most of the remaining $500 million on the purchase and renovation of my own private island. I would pay off as many student loans as I could with half of the money, the other half would go towards community mental health and family planning. Nice only 99.8% of the student loans left to pay off. I love the USA for all their natural landscapes and much more, but this loan system is something that has always baffled me, this and healthcare, it's insane that you guys are not rioting every day on the streets because of it. I'd use it to build resources in my rural area. I work for a social service agency and there is a huge need for resources for people that have no transportation. They can find jobs but they have no way to get there. In my area we have people that get out of prison and really want to turn their life around but no one around here wants to hire them or give anyone a second chance. There is also a medical need for those that are elderly on Medicare as it does nothing for them for dental or vision unless they meet certain criteria. There is a lot that I could do with that amount of money for the people in my county. Quit my job so I don't have to drive my old pollution spewing truck to and from work anymore. Therefore saving the environment. You're welcome everyone. You could buy an electric car. But I like my truck. You could buy an electric car with a truck frame. I'd plant a metric duct of trees. That's only like 100 trees bro. Haha <laughs> this got me give out $10,000 to random people until it ran out. r slash unexpected MR beast. Rescue all shelter animals and buy a big plot of land for them. Then invest in creating power out of trash to clean the ocean. Also maybe buy a house I dunno. Pay Elon Musk to draw a coke and balls on the moon visible from earth. SpaceXXX. We have somewhere in the vicinity of 400-450k homeless people in the US. Would it be hard to set up a fund to help them get back on their feet? I'm talking handouts. I'm talking serious programs where time is spent with the individual to understand their situation and skill set with the hopes of effectively putting it to use within society. It wouldn't end the problem and I'm sure I don't know how to fully solve this problem but that 600 million dollars he wasted would have made things just that bit more easier. Latest number I saw was 550k and each county counts them up by hand so I'd imagine the number is even higher. Invest it into areas with a high rate of homeless people. So I would open shops where they can come to wash and dry their clothes. Collect and exchange blankets and sleeping bags for fresh ones. Somewhere to make a coffee or heat some food up. Have a shave and a wash. Completely free. If this isn't feasible I would pay for as many clean water wells in Africa. So more remote or very poor areas have clean drinking water. These things aren't much but it is a start to help people who need it the most. Put the money towards wildlife and environmental conservation. So much is being lost and it sucks for future generations. So might as well help that effort. Buy quality housing for 6,000 homeless veterans. There was a guy on YouTube who was featured in r slash videos a while ago who was diagnosed with ALS. You could watch his decline on YouTube and last I saw he made a video in tears, begging for help. Terrified to be left alone because his insurance wouldn't cover the help he needed and he couldn't afford the help on his own. I can't bring myself to think about it much because it was really upsetting to watch and I can't help him. If I had that kind of money, I'd make sure that guy and others like him got all the help and counseling they need. No one should have to make terrified videos begging for help when they're facing a terminal illness that slowly shuts down their body. No one should have to be terrified about how they can't afford the medical treatments, especially when they're facing a terminal illness that slowly shuts down their body. I'd buy TikTok and just delete it. Don't think 600M would be anywhere near close to be enough for buying TikTok. We already took it from Mike Bloomberg. The world is a better place. Colon. I like the way you think, though it's probably mostly going to media corporation CS and shareholders. Buy a private island and name myself king. Buy American Samoa. Declare myself god emperor for eternity. 
invest in Alzheimer's and vascular dementia research. I try and become president of the US. Buy military grade weapon and train and arm the public. Viva la revolution. I donated to mental health organizations and research to help the world know more at each new tap health issue, how to help it, and how to prevent it from getting worse. It would go to better the facilities throughout this country, make the process nicer and more efficient. Basically I'd help the crazy people or the attention seekers because yeah they are crazy and no they don't want your attention they want your validation. Very similar but also very different. I'd spend it to spread the quote an act of kindness never started a war and if you're nice to someone and they're mean in return. That's not on you. Leave them be. Let them feel what they feel. Just no matter what. Be kind to one another. Because one more person being kind is one less person being mean. Go to the financial assistance office at my alma mater and start writing checks. Dude should write a book. How to spend 600 million dollars in 2 months and have nothing to show for it. To be fair, a lot of that 600 millimeters ends up being essentially a donation to the middle class. A lot of that money goes to staff salaries essentially paying people to campaign for him. How about spending 500 m on land? Gather as much empty land as possible and transform it into the biggest most thriving forest the world has seen. Invest the leftover 100m in protecting it from fires. Install bidets in every public and private shitter. Pay off all school lunch debt countrywide. Make it rain on GoFundMe. But contact the people privately so GoFundMe doesn't get their percentage. Buy everyone chicksy nuggies. In Australia McDonald's offers a 50c soft serve ice cream cone. You have the equivalent of 900 m ord. You can buy 1.8 billion ice creams. Keep the museum in DC. Open. I went in November right before it closed for good and I probably spent a good 3 hours in there. Pieces of the Berlin Wall, space shuttles, and everything in between. Bloomberg was a large part of the funding they lost. Bro, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more It's free and that's a great price.